Hi, my name is Rachel Biederman, um, and I'm 21 years old. Um, I go to university in the United States, I go to Johns Hopkins, um, and I'll be a senior in the fall. I had lived abroad before in Europe, and after that experience, I knew that for my summer I was interested in exploring another country um, in a work environment. And as I did my research, China seemed to have the most opportunities and uh, growth potential for especially English-speaking students. I did a lot of research um, and then I came across MTA Network um, on LinkedIn and then from there kind of contacted and through the application process was exposed to a bunch of different opportunities here. Um, I wasn't really that familiar with China, I'd never been before and it seemed like a, um, a nice liaison into the business world here. Um, everyone that I spoke to was very accommodating and extremely helpful and they were able to connect me to companies here. It was pretty quick. Um, after I applied, I was kind of presented a few different opportunities, went through some interviews, and then once I had finalized what position I would be in this summer, um, MTA helped me with the visa application process and kind of pre-departure information, like what I should bring or the logistics for getting here and then I came here they brought me from the airport to my apartment and then I went to work the next week. I work at Lychee which is an international trade and um, fishing lure supply company and I work primarily like as an international business intern so I help them with their um, North and South American markets with like my English and Spanish speaking language skills. Yeah, I've loved living here. I don't regret coming at all. Um, I would be very happy to return. I'm not sure if I would live here for the rest of my life, but I would definitely um, expect to come back at some point. Besides the personal development of just being exposed to people and things very different from yourself and becoming more independent from that, I think professionally it sets you apart to have international experience because it shows a level of maturity and, um, and interpersonal skills that are hard to get from a domestic experience. Well, the cost of living is relatively low compared to um, the United States or I know parts of Western Europe, but just personally, the um, exploring the culture, the food, it's obviously a very large country and so there's a lot of opportunities to see new things. Even Qingdao, which I wasn't too familiar with before I came and lived here for the summer, is a huge city and there's so much to see and do um, when you're not in the office. Um, professionally, I think I have acquired um, and developed more of like the skills that I'm going to need for a full-time job um, and postgraduate opportunities. They um, working in an office with a bunch of different people who speak different languages than you and who are very different from you taught me and I think would teach anyone um, kind of how to pick up the pace very quickly. You have to be a fast learner in this kind of environment and it teaches you how to be independent as well. Yeah, as long as someone is open-minded and likes Chinese food, I would say do a internship in China.